huge part of my luxury experience is my welcome packet. This is what I send to my clients when they first book their sessions to help them plan for the experience. It's actually an experience in and of itself. One client described this as an invitation to a party she didn't know she was excited to attend. I actually seal these with wax so that it's just a fun thing to open. My clients are excited about these. They Instagram them, they share them with their friends. I want to walk you through everything that I include here to just let you know how I prepare my clients for their session. Okay. So when they open it up, the first thing that they see is my face. I want them to see me smiling. I want them to see me happy. I am there to make this a wonderful experience for them. And I want them to know I'm not some cold fashion photographer. I am warm and I'm welcoming and I'm excited that they're here for their session. When they open the welcome packet, there's my session policies on rescheduling, on arriving on time, copyright information, information on the digital files, information on their makeover, on the photo shoot, the reveal and ordering session. Any potential question that they have is answered somewhere in this welcome packet. Are you still gonna get questions? Absolutely. But is the information there for them? Yes, it is. Then inside the packet are all kinds of goodies. Now I actually customize this depending on who I am shooting. So if I'm shooting couples, if I'm shooting maternity, if I'm shooting a woman on her own, I actually have three different types of style guides that I send out depending on what kind of session I'm doing. Just to give you an example, let me open my maternity guide. So I created this to help expectant mamas know exactly, exactly what to expect and exactly what to bring. I wanted to cover safety in their packet because safety is of the utmost importance in maternity sessions. This is something that you as a photographer absolutely need to know. Um, things like their blood pressure, things like hydrating them, things like keeping their eyes open. You do not close a pregnant woman's eyes during her session. If you want her to look like her eyes are closed, you have her look straight down. You never close her eyes because her likelihood of getting dizzy is like 10 times that of a normal woman's. She could fall over, injure herself, critically injure the baby. I talk about going to the bathroom, how we understand that she may need to go constantly. I just want her to know that I am already anticipating her needs. This is gonna put her that much more at ease as we go into her session. But then I also want her to know that I'm anticipating her wardrobe needs. So for maternity, you can do so much more artistic work than you might do in a normal portrait session. I do a lot of draping with fabrics, with materials. You can use just a bandeau top and a fabric for a skirt. So I give some examples in terms of ways that we could create wardrobe, but then I give her a checklist, things to bring, and it's so simple. She can just literally go down the list, check it off, throw things in a bag the night before the shoot, and she's packed. It's that simple. I want to take all of the guesswork out of this planning session. And then there's the beauty guide. And this gives my clients ideas of when to get their hair and nails done, when to tan, which is never. You never spray tan before a photo session. These are things your clients don't know, helping them to get prepared. This is something that I created in this past year that my clients are raving about to me. I call it the Lux Guide. This gives them a step-by-step -step breakdown of everything to expect from the minute that they step out of their car to the second that they arrive for their ordering appointment. I have information about the reveal in the photo shoot. I have tips from former clients. I have information about the pricing breakdown, everything that they need to know. The more prepared and educated your clients are, the less stressed they are, the more they can enjoy the experience. You enjoy the things that you do when you know what to expect. We, we were nervous on the first day of school because we just don't know what to expect. By the you know 90th day of school, it's easy because you know, nothing's changed. Really nothing has changed, you just know. The, the anticipation isn't there. And then there's my product menu where I'm just again breaking down and giving them another way to see all of my pricing. I want them to put it in an easily accessible place so that they can reach for it the night before the photo shoot to pack and then grab it the next morning for directions on their way to my studio. So I put this in the mail the minute that they book their session to help them start planning. And I really get fantastic, fantastic feedback about it. Remember, they've just put down a pretty significant session fee and right now they've gotten nothing for it. Their shoot isn't for another three or four months. There's nothing physical for them to have, but this lets them know that I'm planning for them, I'm excited for them, I'm prepared for them. This is not something most photographers do. This already sets me apart. This starts the service. It's a really special touch. I mean, it's something that you might wanna to add to your studio.